be able to put this matter to rest, Mr. Speaker. Because it cannot be uh, taken as normal that people are, 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 are retiring from, count, uh, from county governments, and Mr. Speaker, they go to their, de to their deathbed never seeing the money for their pension, never seeing the money for NSSF, and never seeing any money that they indeed contributed. In fact, alongside what Senator Boni has just talked about, where he has uh, talked about what uh, Senator Thangwa has proposed, that we should have the governors come to this house, Mr. Speaker, instead of the committees, although I don't agree with it, but for me the twist would be, can we move this process so fast so that some of the governors who have not been remitting these monies in this current regime, we can deal with them for once and for all. So they can take, we can hold them to account as an issue of current affairs so that it is not only dealing with issues that have been stale and the people who are previous governors. Let us make sure that we rush this process, process in a way that uh, the cabinet secretary and the tax force can give us that report in 90 days, and then we want to see some of these governors summoned to this house. For this particular one, uh, 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 Senator Boni, I do agree that for this particular problem, we must summon those governors here and then hold them to account on current affairs and current matters that they can take responsibility for. I know that Nairobi is notorious, for instance, that uh, in this money that we're looking for, 85 billion, majority of it is Nairobi. And the governor of Nairobi is there, and a very vibrant senator for Nairobi, Senator Sifuna, is here. We can. Senator Crystal.